Hey there, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are doing this workout. Welcome to this very fast and efficient follow along body weight workout. Some of the best and most challenging workouts that I have done have been very short and compact because it requires the most amount of energy in the least amount of time, which really hits those fast twitch explosive muscle fibers. So with this workout, you don't need any equipment. I am going to put you through your warm up. We're gonna do the workout together and then I'm gonna put you through your cool down. The way the sequence is built is it is 21, 15, nine. That's it. So like I said, some of my favorite things if I'm ever coming up with workouts for you guys is I love just doing really short rep schemes like that, chipping away really fast, as fast as possible and you're really gonna feel it in a lot of different areas. So 21, 15, nine, we are doing squats, sit-ups, and burpees. So this is considered a total body workout. You may feel it a little more in your legs and in your core work, but that burpee is a total body explosive movement, so you're gonna feel it there as well with your cardio and conditioning. You can do this as your total workout, or you can do this as a finisher. So finishers are something I would do if I just got done lifting and I wanna do some cardio, but I don't necessarily wanna do more weight. Sometimes instead of doing actual cardio, like a run or a bike or anything like that, I will do something like this for my cardio conditioning, okay? So if you're ready, I'm ready. We're gonna go ahead and warm up. This one specifically, because it does focus a lot on the lower body, we're gonna do the knee knocks to open our hips and our legs up. So feet are about hip width apart. We're just rocking our knees from side to side, your hips, your back might pop, all those things, just to get some blood flow and some circulation. Warming the hips up. Anytime I'm at the gym, well, pretty much every day, <laughs> when I do my workout, this is how I always start. It's because like, I just know, I know that this is gonna open my hips, my spine, everything, get everything nice and loose, okay? Make sure you're breathing. Anything you carried into this workout before, let it go, be totally present. All right, we're gonna lay on our back. Open our chest up, hands are out, touching opposite foot to opposite hand. Same thing, this is opening up the spine, loosening up the hips, the hamstrings, the glutes. Keep your shoulder blades on the ground as you do this. All right, so we're gonna flip over. We've done this before. We're gonna do the exact same thing. This is called scorpion twist. Hands are out nice and wide. You're touching opposite foot to opposite side, keeping a neutral spine. So we're here, twist, twist. You don't have to do this quickly either. yoga just like this you're gonna inhale and arch your back exhale and push through so this is the cat cow exhale push through again fun fact keep going while I'm talking by the way fun fact when you are warming up so there's a misconception that when you're warming up, you're supposed to stretch. It's not a good idea. You should not be stretching. Actually, you should be doing exactly what we are doing. All right, so go ahead and stand up. We're gonna do shoulder circles. So palms are facing in, thumbs are up. We're just gonna rotate. I don't know if this is externally. Anyways, what I was saying, when you warm up, you should not stretch because it's kind of like a cold rubber band. It actually weakens the muscles when you stretch before you do your workout. So you always do mobility like we are doing now. Mobility first, 
Then you work out, you stretch after. So the reason being, go the other way. When you're starting out, your muscles need blood flow, fresh oxygen, and some heat. So that's why your body warms up. You start to sweat, you get hot. It's getting mobility and movement in the spine. It's loosening the joints. When you stretch, so we're gonna do, if you remember this from some of the other workouts, you're opening your chest up this way, coming across the body just like this. And then, so your thumb is kind of guiding you. We're gonna move a little bit faster. But so, afterwards, when we're done, obviously your body's nice and heat, it's got some fresh blood flow, all those things. That's when you stretch. To know the difference, if you hold a move for longer than six seconds, it's considered a stretch. Other side, same thing. Cross the body, open the body. Cross the body, open the body. This is great for your shoulder, your spine, everything. So like right now, your shoulders are like, oh, I need to warm up. I need to get some blood flow. We need to get ready to move. That's kind of what this is. It's like priming your body. So then, this is very important prehab, not rehab, shoulder stuff. I've done this before. Thumbs are staying up this entire time. We're gonna do a little pulsing. This is our T. Warming up our rear delts. A lot of people end up screwing up their rotator cuffs because this muscle never gets worked. So we're here. Then we're gonna go to a Y, or a 10 and a two, right here. Warming up the shoulder blades. We're letting our body know, hey, we're about to work out. We need some blood flow. And then we're going to an eye right by our ears. Keep breathing while you're doing this. Sweet. All right, body is nice and warm, ready to go. 21, 15, nine. Squats, sit-ups, and burpees. Literally, this is all it is. Feet are hip width apart. We're gonna squat. We're not starting yet. I'm demoing, by the way. So this is what your squat will look like. We'll do 21 squats. Then, I have this mat here. 21 sit-ups. You can do it with your feet flat. You're just gonna sit back, come up, touch your toes. So 21 squats. 21 sit-ups, then 21 burpees. So we're here, burpee down, back up. When you do burpees, before we go, see how wide my feet are? This is gonna make your burpee more efficient. I was making sure it wasn't stepping on the mat. So do not do a burpee and jump with your feet together because look at it like, how not efficient that is. Jump wide and you're already here. Okay? If that gets challenging, you may step back and step up and then jump up. Okay? 21 of those, we're then going to do 15, 15, 15, 9, 9, 9. I've got water. Make sure you've got water. Here's the deal. I am going to move at a moderate pace that allows me to continue to coach you and push you and challenge you and do this with you. If you are faster than me, by all means, move faster. If you are slower, it's totally fine. This is about understanding your potential and your limits, okay? So, we're gonna get started. Again, I'm gonna do my best to talk you through this and do this with you. 21, 15, nine, we're gonna start in five, four, three, starting with squats, two, and one, 21 squats. Make sure on these 21 squats, you are going all the way down and all the way up. A lot of people do not get full range of motion on their squats, which is cheating, but also you're, Pretty much like doing yourself a disservice. It's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21 sit ups. Make sure you're all the way down, all the way up. Almost there. We're almost there. Remember, you can step down and step up. Sorry, he's laughing.
breathe, get some water, wipe the sweat off if you need to, have a seat. We're gonna cool down. Now, that took less than 10 minutes easily. So, if you went through this, you're like, that was really easy, I could do this. It is, however, the way that you challenge yourself is you keep track of your time, you then try to get in about a month or so, and you try and beat that time, or your other option is you can go back up. So you can go 21, 15, nine, 15, 21. So you descend and then you ascend. Personally, I like this one more just for like a quick, I want a total body workout. I want to get a good conditioning in. I've only got 10 minutes and it's done, okay? So we're here, roll the shoulders, take a few deep breaths. Again. One more time. All right, sit here for just a second. This is when I like to practice breath work and gratitude. Breath work, people think it's so cheesy. It's so important, not just in your fitness and your overall health, anxiety, stress, mental clarity. So here's what we're gonna do. First, check in with your posture. Are you kind of slunched, your core is not engaged, or are you too far forward or too far back? Do a little assessment, sit straight up. Take five deep inhales through the nose, through the belly, so we're going through the nose and belly. Exhale through the mouth. Three more. Your shoulders and chest should not be rising. Your belly is the only thing. One more. Sweet, okay. So, cross one leg over the other. You're gonna take that elbow and you're just gonna gently twist. So, and while you're here, try and breathe and relax into this while I talk. So the thing with the breath work and why it's so important is because with your fitness, if you can learn to do that, breathe in through the nose, exhale through the mouth and through the belly instead of the chest, your recovery and your endurance will be so fast. Switch sides. What I mean by that is that is what controls the pace of your breath. So same thing if you're feeling really stressed and like, anxious or panicky or overwhelmed, if you will sit for just a minute or two and just inhale and exhale like that, physiologically, it tells your body, breathe, relax. It literally will release chemicals into your body to just tell it to relax and it completely diffuses things. So then just put your feet together, reach forward and touch your toes. People use that all the time. Um, athletes use it a lot to focus. Leaders, business people, if they're in a stressful situation, if they can step outside and just do a few three to five deep breaths, it changes everything. Sweet, all right. So you're gonna stand up however you want to. However you wanna get up. You're gonna interlock your fingers, do a deep inhale, push out. Bring them up to the body and as far back as you can to stretch your shoulders and your lats and just breathe. I then like to take this, put it behind your head like you're relaxing except for really pull back to open that chest up and just breathe. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing behind you. So, excuse me, <laughs> palms are facing in. You're gonna push straight back. We're just breathing. Just breathing. Let that go. We're gonna stretch the quad. Bring one foot up. I like almost 
acting like I'm like pulling a rubber band out. So I'm pulling this quad, legs are close, and I'm also stretching this arm back as far as I can while keeping it nice and straight. And just breathing. Switch sides. This is also really good for balance. Let it go. Thank you so much for doing this workout with me. I love it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, tag me and let me know. I love seeing the workout pics and the selfies and the stories and all those things. But thank you so much for letting me be your coach and your guide through this. I truly enjoy this and I hope that you feel stronger, healthier, like a weight's been literally lifted. If you have not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Give me a like and a thumbs up so that you can stay up to date with all these workouts as they come out. If you are looking for customized workout programming, please send me a message of ashley at abspancakes, abspancakes.com, and let me know. I work with a lot of people doing customized workout programming, helping them specifically with their goals, their fitness, and their weight loss efforts. So if you're looking for something more specific to you, send me a message and I'm happy to help. Other than that, thank you so much for checking out my channel and I hope you have an awesome day.